According to the Veterans Administration, there are about 22 million wartime veterans living here in the United States. Sadly, World War II veterans are passing at a rate of 650 per day, and their stories and experiences are dying with them. For the next few minutes, we'll discuss a project that is preserving their stories and those of other wartime veterans for generations to come. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined by Bob Patrick of the Veterans History Project. Bob, welcome to the program. Great to be here, Robert. So what we know is, unfortunately, is that a lot of our veterans either a, choose not to tell their stories because of their own personal grief that they're still experiencing, or and or B, there hasn't been a venue for them to be able to express themselves in a way that is comfortable, that is safe, uh, and non-judgmental. What is the project that you're working on? Well, the Veterans History Project is a congressionally mandated effort to collect and make accessible the wartime memories of America's veterans. And we've, for the last 13 years, have been ca capturing these stories from World War I all the way up to the uh, conflicts of today. So this is a federal law? It's a federal law, unanimous uh, vote by Congress to create this project. And it's primarily an oral history project of an audio, a vi video oral history uh, interview with a veteran to have them tell their story, their human experience of war. Bob, why is this important? It's, a, it's important on a, a number of reasons. First of all, it's going to be housed in the Library of Congress as a permanent archive for researchers, scholars, educators to come and use it uh, as a part of their work. Secondly, uh, it's going to be an inspirational uh, group of work for the nation, for generations to come, to hear the stories of America's veterans as they told it, as they lived it, as they experienced it. And thirdly, and this has kind of been an outgrowth of the project that uh, maybe wasn't expected, it's a great project for families. Many families have not heard these stories, as you mentioned, uh, have not had uh, the opportunity to sit down with a veteran and their family in a serious way and have them tell their story. And we think the Veterans History Project does that, allows them to tell their story in a serious way and for a serious reason, both for the family and for the nation. So for the veteran that is watching the program at home, for a loved one that is watching the program, how do they get more information? How do they um, get the tools, if you will, to be able to record their stories? We depend on volunteers. We depend on family members, uh, volunteers in communities, uh, students to capture these stories. And we make it very easy. Uh, if you go to our website, www.loc.gov vets, we have a field kit there that tells you how to do an interview, questions you can ask, how to have that conversation with the veteran, a few forms that need to be filled out, uh, and plus we have a 15-minute video they can watch on the website to tell them how to do the process. Do you find that veterans and their families, um, it's almost like this is a period at the end of the sentence. It's the next paragraph where they're able to kind of move on with their lives because not to bring closure to it, but it just, it just puts things into context. I, I think it's a great relief for some veterans. We, we've heard families talk about that. Families uh, during the course of these interviews just said, we've never heard this before. And at the end of the day, uh, after the veterans told their stories, we've gotten uh, word back that, you know, he sleeps better at night uh, now that he's told his story. You know what's interesting, Bob? I was thinking about that a few moments ago when you mentioned the three buckets, if you will, as to why uh, the Library of Congress is doing that. Clearly, this is important for the history books. Clearly, this is important for the academicians. But clearly, this is very important for the families and for the veterans. It is. And it's a great intergenerational project, too, uh, have yeah. a younger person talk to a veteran. A uh, younger person has their eyes open. The veteran appreciates uh, that someone really cares about what they have to say. I'm curious, Bob, uh, what has been the public's reaction uh, to this, besides the veterans and their families? What about just uh, Jane and John Doe out there? What, what, what has there been the response? It's been a great response. We have over 89,000 collections that have been done primarily by volunteers across this country. Oh, wow. and we get 100 to 200 new collections in every week. Wow. It is an ongoing project uh, and uh, as you mentioned there are millions of veterans out there who need to tell their story and we hope they will. We have about 15 seconds left Bob. Very quickly for those of you at home that did not have a pen and want to get more information that website is www.loc.gov vets. We encourage everybody to interview the veteran in their life. All right Bob Patrick thank you very much for joining us and thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day. Bye-bye. And look at me Bob.